um, you know, come after me personally in many instances, because the status quo was going to be their friend. In other words, a path to a uh, hyperscaler, a single hyperscaler solution for an enterprise, which is what everybody was selling, you know, over the last 10 years. Everybody has to move to AWS. Everybody has to move to Microsoft, things like that. When the reality is that if you leverage cloud computing and a heterogeneous, uh, you know, kind of um, framework um, and leverage best of breed platforms for your applications and your data sets, you're going to be much better off than moving toward a single cloud provider. Not that a single cloud provider is not going to knock it out of the park for a few use cases that you have, but it's not going to be for every one. So you're going to choose to under optimize many of those use cases based on the fact that you have a one size fits all technology in a single cloud provider. And everybody's been pushing that. That's the, when I talked about multi-cloud and some of the alternatives out there, and this is from many years ago, um, people weren't having it in many instances, not invited back to meetings and things like that. Or, uh, you know, it's almost like dealing with religious beliefs <laughs> when you're, you know, talking about alternatives to a single public cloud provider strategy, but that's the way it is. I'm not pushing that because I'm getting, you know, any kind of kickbacks from the all cloud, uh, group out there. I'm pushing it because we have to make architectural choices that are based on the business reality. And I think we missed that over the last 15 years of cloud computing, missed missed the, the ability to find some of the optimizations within these businesses. 